Doc Helios, thank yes. you very much. Thank Can you very much. Can you share with us why should young people get involved in the space industry and into studying STEM subjects? Thank you very much. Uh, where we are, what we call in the space race, uh, as you know, the UAE is going to launch its uh, Mars mission in 2020. And it is time for uh, the young Emiratis uh, to have at least uh, that space uh, uh, knowledge. Uh, you cannot send uh, a space uh, satellite unless you have that good knowledge in what you call in, or in physics, in math, and also chemistry. That's why it's very important to have students uh, doing engineering, uh, doing sciences, uh, to build uh, a very good, uh, uh, very good industry uh, to support uh, this, uh, this program. So this is very important. Uh, so STEM, as you know, everywhere in the world, so people are a little bit afraid of physics and also of math. But physics is what they call any, uh, one of the jewels of other sciences. So you cannot do uh, engineering if you don't study physics. And for sure, you cannot do physics if you don't study um, mathematics. So it is all important all together. And for space, uh, we need a lot of space engineers. We need a lot, lot of uh, people who do graduate in aerospace engineering. Also, a lot of space scientists that uh, study uh, what we call the uh, the atmosphere, the interaction of the sun with the warm atmosphere. So we need uh, people to be interested in, in science and also in engineering majors. Thank you. And why should the UAE invest time and people in the space industry? Well, because as you know, UAE is small. And to have such a small country to be involved in space, that's what you call something wonderful, something very special. Uh, so uh, uh, it will be like a, a leader. Uh, for all this region, for the Gulf state, uh, and also for the all, what you call the Muslim world, to have a, a country like UAE uh, to be specialized in space sector, and also uh, to have uh, uh, the, the, what you call the, uh, the expertise uh, in space sciences uh, uh, experiments. And to do that, it must push uh, to have a, a very good, good and strong space program. And it can do that well because it has the will, it has the political will, it has uh, the manpower, uh, just need a little bit of time. Thank you. Welcome. And one last question. Yes. Where do you think the space industry will be in 10 years? Well, it will be very different. It will be very exciting. And believe it or not, every country in the world will be part, would like to be part of this space industry because it is the future. If we'd like to expand, if we'd like for your society to expand and also to be rich in terms of knowledge, uh, space is, uh, is a must. And as we say always, space is, every, is for everyone. So everyone has a right and need to exploit this space and since it is quite uh, friendly, so uh, it is very important and, uh, that in 10 years from now, so things will be very different, especially when uh, some private companies will have that power to launch their own uh, space rockets, not, not like JASA or maybe uh, or be NASA or be maybe uh, in the ESA. So maybe every country in the world will have that knowledge uh, to send its own space uh, rocket, and that's the beauty of it. So space is for everyone. Thank you very much. Yeah, welcome. Thank you very much.